Now we want to simplify so we can evaluate the limit. And the key comes from breaking up 5 to the n plus 1. I want to rewrite it or think of it as 5 to the n times 5 to the first. Because now, see how I have another 5 to the n on the other side? I can cancel both of those guys out. So now 5 to the n is gone. Let me rewrite what we have so far so you're not overwhelmed. So this is now the limit. n approaches infinity. I have n plus 1 over, there's just that 5 left, and n now. Okay? A couple ways you can evaluate the limit. You could divide everything by the highest power of n in the denominator, which is just n to the first. I don't know if your teacher just lets you do the pre-calc shortcut. Continuous on the interval from 1 to infinity. Well, what's the domain of f of x? The only problem I would have is if the denominator is 0. This is 0 if e to the x is 1. That happens if x is 0. So my domain is all x's such that x can't be 0. But 